Hey everybody, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for hanging out upstairs with us and for checking out the channel. And on today's episode, I wanted to catch up with all of you regarding the latest news released today from iArcade regarding their home arcade systems. And what's really good about this news update, this information that was under embargo until today, is this will impact both new customers or new buyers of their gold edition cabinet, as well as it will impact positively owners of their original edition arcade cabinet. The big news, of course, is that iArcade is going to be bringing accessories to their arcade platform. Now, these accessories are going to be third-party accessories. It's a third-party accessory initiative. So when it comes to things like third-party trackballs and spinners and possibly even light guns in the future, if you wanted to bring those games or bring those controllers to the system, iArcade is going to support that and get that up and running. Plus, this also means that there are some games on the system today and in the game store that could utilize those controls, but also there will be new games, I'm sure, targeted by iArcade in the future and announced that actually will be using those peripherals. Now, what's interesting is what they confirmed is the Gold Edition cabinet will have two USB ports underneath the control panel, and those USB ports will be for plugging in accessories to the Gold Edition cabinets. So plugging in a trackball, a spinner, these are the ones that they are 100% confirming will be available at launch. And it sounds like they will be partnering with one of our good friends of the channel, Glenn from Glenn's Retro Show, will be bringing those to the system. Glenn has also recently partnered with Sindon, so it would not shock me in the least if in the future we see another announcement in the future that Sindon light guns and more light gun and shooting games will be coming to the iArcade. iArcade is not going to release these peripherals and not provide games for them. I'm sure games that actually utilize these controls will be happening in the future. But what does that mean for Generation 1 owners? Well, Generation 1 owners don't have a USB port, do they? But of course the iArcade does have Bluetooth compatibility. So these peripherals, these third-party accessories will be available for Generation 1 cabinet owners and they will run via Bluetooth. Now, of course, nothing works better than a hardwired connection in my opinion, but hey, something is better than nothing and it sounds like they're doing what they can to make first-generation owners as well as folks who don't feel the need to upgrade to the newer cabinet still feel included with the same games that'll be coming to the system. Obviously, these third-party accessories, well, where are you going to put them? It sounds like they are going to be mounted to the control panel in some way. As of the timing of the filming of this video, they have not provided any photos or video to share of what these peripherals are going to look like. Possibly those might be shown on iArcade's live stream that happened today. And of course, make sure you tune into the Super Gamer and Dudes podcast show as well as this channel to stay up to date. But those third-party accessories will work via Bluetooth connected to the device, whether they're spinners, trackballs, and maybe even light guns in the future. And then, of course, even though the Gold Edition will have the USB ports to hardwire the connection, you'll still be able to use the Bluetooth that comes with this system if you wanted to run those via Bluetooth if you need to. But hey, if you got the ports, you might as well plug in, avoid any kind of input lag or things like that. I find this very interesting. I also find this very exciting. Of course, these accessories are not being sold and made by iArcade themselves. So you're going to have to go through like Glenn's Retro Show, the GRS Thunderstick brand for his. And who knows if other guys, I mean, if you develop stuff, light guns, trackball spinners, want to get them up and running, reach out to iArcade. Maybe you can get it up and running on their platform. And I'm sure we're going to see iArcade announcing soon if they haven't already games coming to the system that will actually utilize these controls. My best opinion and advice to anyone interested in these controls is wait and see what games iArcade is going to announce. If they announce some good games that excite you that would like to play that you would like to play with those controls. And if you don't mind having these controls be mounted to the control panel in some way, shape or form, sounds like they're going to be using a mount because I don't think they're doing swappable control decks yet, unless that's something they announced today. But I wouldn't be surprised if we also see in the future maybe just swappable control panels as well, maybe for the Gold Edition cabinets at the very least. All in all, I think it's a great way to play new genres of games on the IRK platform. Hopefully, they'll announce and let us know what licenses and games 
are going to be coming that would actually make us want to buy these peripherals to play these games on this arcade system. Looking forward to hearing those announcements in the near future. And also, guys, if you are interested in picking up one of the Gold Editions, they do have four available for you. The Black Edition, Dead Cells, Dragon's Lair, Space Invaders. This $800 sale where these cabinets are uh, $200 bucks off their normal $9.99 retail price. Uh, because of this latest announcement, they're going to go ahead and extend the sale. This sale was set to expire in the next couple of days. Well, now this sale is going to run all the way through to the end of May until May 31st, 2022. So now you have a whole nother month to chew on this information and decide, do you want to get an IRK Gold Edition at the discounted price? Either way, guys, that's the news update for today. Hopefully there'll be more information as well as new games announced soon using these peripherals. And guys, if you enjoyed the news update, do me a favor, leave your comments, feedback, reactions below. Give us a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.